In this video, I'm going to share what I've learned so far regarding building to the Division C bonus specifications. If you recall, the two major differences between the non-bonus and bonus rules are that to achieve the extra 5 kilogram weight, the tower must span a 29 centimeter diameter circle and must hold the entire 15 kilograms. It's that second requirement that really makes choosing the bonus path difficult. You need to either guarantee that the tower holds all 15 kilograms ahead of time by pre-testing it, which means building it to hold maybe 17 or 18 kilograms, or take the risk that it will hold just over 15 kilograms without testing it to that weight ahead of time. If your non-bonus tower breaks at 14.5 kilograms, that's no big deal and close to an ideal outcome. If your bonus tower breaks at 14 and a half kilograms, it's a huge disappointment and won't be competitive. Knowing that, let's first take a look at what a bonus tower has to compete with to make it even remotely worthwhile to consider. Here are the stats from my Division C benchmark video. With this information, along with the actual results from 2017 where the rules were almost identical, we can see that it's very possible to build a non-bonus tower with an actual efficiency of 3200 or more, which would give a competition score of 4000. To score 4000 with a bonus design would require a 6.25 gram tower holding the entire weight. 20,000 divided by 6.25 times the 1.25 log multiplier. With that in mind, for my first serious attempt, I wanted to see if it was possible to build something that would make the bonus tower a serious contender. I had a target of 5.5 grams, which if it held everything would score over 4500 and would make it a clear choice to pursue. I knew that to get a finished tower that light, it was going to have to use light legs. With that in mind, I chose to increase the number of layers from 10 to 12 to increase the buckling strength by a fair amount. Here's the design of the 12 layer tower and the lengths for each cross member. On the right, you can see the leg masses I was using as well as the cross member material I used, which went from 1 16th by 1 20th for the bottom two layers to 1 32nd by 1 20th for the top five layers. You can also see that I did achieve my finished target weight of 5.5 grams. There is nothing unique about the build techniques for this tower compared to the previous ones, except that the jig is now quite a bit bigger. Here are the legs taped in place vertically, and you can see all the cross member pieces are pre-cut and waiting to be glued in the background. Here I'm already halfway done after completing two sides and sanding them flat. The jig is on its side waiting for the third side of cross members to be glued on. The 12 layer bonus tower is now complete and ready to be removed from the jig. Here is the tower right before testing after spending several days in the dry box. Its testing weight is 5.47 grams. Let's see how it does. This is the live testing of the tower and to keep things short I will only show the final part right before it fails. Unfortunately, that wasn't over 15 kilograms. It held 10.734 kilograms for an actual efficiency of 1962, which means it doesn't get the extra 5 kilogram bonus, and its final competition score is only 2453. We can clearly see that the back right leg has failed first at the first layer. This means that the legs were not nearly strong enough, even with the extra two cross member layers. The next build will definitely have to increase the leg strength to hope to hold over 15 kilograms. I'm already starting to get a strong feeling that it's going to be difficult to compete with the non-bonus tower benchmark scores, but I'm not giving up just yet. All this extra balsa wood does make for a very cool slow-mo destruction video. For the next attempt, I increased the leg's total mass by just over 60% and increased the cross member mass by about 6%. I really wanted to build a competitive bonus tower that held the entire weight. I spent extra time for this build using as little glue as possible for each joint. My first bonus tower used almost 0.7 grams of glue, which is quite a bit. For this tower, I managed to glue all 240 joints using only 0.23 grams of glue. That is one of the biggest things I learned about these two builds besides the towers themselves. It's definitely possible to use way less glue than I had been in previous builds, but it takes extra care to do so. Even using way less glue, the final mass was 6.42 grams. 
If this holds the entire weight, it will score 3894 and would at least be on par with some of the best non-bonus builds. Let's see how it does. There is nothing special about this build compared to the last one, so there isn't much new to show. I do like to always show all the material pre-cut and prepared ahead of any gluing. This is an extremely important part of the process for any of these builds. Fast forward a couple hours and here is the final tower ready to be removed from the jig. Here it is on the scale right before testing at 6.42 grams and on the test stand ready to go. Let's see if this one can finally hold over 15 kilograms and get the bonus. Here is the final part of the live testing. Fingers crossed, let's see if this one gives us any more hope for a highly competitive bonus tower build. Nope. Unfortunately, this one didn't hold over 15 kilograms either. It did hold more than the previous build at 11.583 kilograms for an actual efficiency of 1804 and a competition score of 2255, but that is nowhere near what it needs to be. I have frozen the video right before failure and you can see that this time the cross members on layers 3, 4, and 5 are the weakest link. That is right where I changed from using 1 16th by 1 20th to fairly light 1 20th by 1 20th balsa and it was clearly not strong enough. If I build another bonus tower, I would definitely have to make the cross bracing stronger for at least another several layers, either using higher density or larger material. I'm hesitant to spend any more time on this design though, as the build was already at 6.42 grams and making it even heavier will make it really not competitive. Remember, the goal here isn't just to make a bonus tower hold 15 kilograms, but it needs to be noticeably better than what was already proven with the non-bonus design. At this point, I'm not ready to say that the bonus design is 100% not possible to compete with, but I think it's pretty clear from my testing that it would be best to focus on very high scoring non-bonus builds. A 4.5 gram non-bonus tower is definitely possible, and it's still unproven if the equivalent scoring 6 gram bonus tower is even feasible. I hope this look at my work with the bonus tower design has helped you out. As always, thanks for watching and feel free to reach out to me with any specific questions.